welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to be going over the one minute trading strategy version three we already have two versions up on the channel and this is the most up to, up to date current version of the strategy um a few things have changed in terms of automating it it's now a, it's now a very very automated strategy um we've also added a few more tools in so yeah hopefully you know you guys enjoy this if you do hit the like button um, if you're new here hit the subscribe button because we do a live stream every single day um, where we do trade we do topic streams we do actual live trading streams and obviously we, we put videos up on the weekend like this one if you're looking for all of the indicators that i'll be using in this strategy um go into the description down below click on the patreon link and it is silver plus so anything past silver um you'll be able to have a look at and um yeah get access to all the indicators and everything like that to trade it the exact same way that i do um but yeah now let's get into everything so what indicators are we using we're using four indicators and we're using one expert advisor we're using uh pivot points which are these arrows they just look a little bit weird but i think that's because it's on the weekend um this also shows the time so when when the markets are moving um you'll be able to see the time left on the current candle and also the what what size pip that candle is we also have a 78 moving average um this is the green line here that you will be using to get your um the go ahead for the trades almost uh, we'll get into the strategy in a bit if you've seen version one and version two this is going to help a lot so if you haven't then um yeah maybe go back watch those but i will be covering everything in this video anyway we then have session times um for this this is going to be changing but you know for 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 me personally and anyone in the uk um this is going to be trading between 1 45 and 3 p.m now you can extend this an hour back and an hour forward so you could do for example um 1 p.m till 4 p.m if you wanted to but right now i'm just doing 1 45 till 3 just to reduce the time that i'm actually trading and the new the new kind of indicator that we're going to be using the one that isn't in any of the videos is the atr bias now it's called the atr bias but really it's just the trend bias um, and all it does is it basically tells us what the trend is doing on each time frame so we have the four hour the hourly the 15 minute and the five minute and whenever we get this um when all four are going in the same direction we have a really really strong bias if we have three we can still take a trade if we have two we can't take a trade um, obviously we'll get into that in a little bit but um the next thing is the trade panel so that's this little thing up here and it's basically an automation tool that we've created here at trade happy that enables you guys to open trades with a set risk uh, a max lot uh, it automatically um, does the candle size for you for the stop loss and the tp you can use break evens on this automatically you can do partial closes automatically using this um it's just perfect for the one minute strategy so we're also using that of course you can get all of these things on patreon so if you are looking to trade the exact same way that i am or get access to the trade panel then you'll have to go to patreon and click on the link through the description so the overview or the strategy is pretty much a trend based one minute strategy so you're trading it only on the one minute you don't need to look at any of the time frames and all we're looking for is this kind of movement here okay it, well yeah kind of um or something like this okay either of these and when you're trading this when you see the market do something like this you're going to be drawing a line like this and when we get a touch point um or when the market comes down and down a little bit more you'll be then looking for an entry candle like this and like this to then take a buy on this and you will need the 78 ema to be above or below sorry 
you need price action to be above um, the 78 EMA. So once you get that, and three of these are in the same direction, so you know it could be any of these in any order, um, then you have to go ahead to take a buy. If you are kind of a little bit lost, we'll go over some examples and all that kind of stuff. But basically, this is the simple format that you're looking for. You're looking for a break of this level, you're looking for a retest, and then you're looking for an entry candle. Pretty, pretty simple, to be honest with you. So we'll get rid of that. And we can scroll back a little bit. Uh, actually, what I'll do is... So this was a trade um, that we had... When was it? I think it was Friday, right? Yeah, Friday. So this was a Friday trade. It was a losing trade. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, I hope you can see that. Um, so I'm just going to draw back over the chart, which is basically what you'll be looking for. So you see the move up, you see the move back, the move up, the retest, and then the entry candle. Okay, we're above the EMA, and I think three out of the four, or four out of the four, I can't remember exactly, we're in the same direction on the on the bias indicator as well. So we opened the trade here when we got the entry candle. Um, you know, that's a very, very nice entry candle. Um, and I do actually in yesterday's video, go over this trade and review this trade. So if you are interested in um, a more detailed look around why this trade didn't work, then go on to the previous video from yesterday and you can have a little look at that. Um, yeah, that's basically the thing that we're looking for, okay? Uh, and that is actually a, a live trade example that we took. Stop loss is here, entries here, and the TP was way up there, 3 to 1. So the difference between version 2 and version 3 are two main differences, okay? The difference one is this, the trend indicator, and also this. In version 2, you don't have this at all. And in version 2, you have to do the calculations yourself, you have to work out the stop loss yourself, the TP yourself, and the risk yourself. Um, so yeah, those are the kind of main differences between version two and version three. Um, obviously, if you want to trade version three, you can do the, the you know, uh, version two and version three. There's not a massive difference. The only difference is automation and the adding of this indicator here. That's really it, okay? If you wanted to trade version two, you could do. But obviously, if you are looking for a more automated strategy, then version 3 is, is going to be better for you. So the pairs that we're going to be trading are similar to um, previous um, strategies. It's going to be GBPUSD and GBPJPY. We added GBPJPY to give us an edge when it comes to uh, the differences in the way that the pairs move. So GU and GJ obviously move quite similar. But sometimes you'll get a setup on GJ, sometimes you won't get a setup on GU, and vice versa as well. So it just gives you more trades. Obviously, you don't have to trade GJ. If you want to trade the classic version almost, then you could just trade uh, GBP USD, and that would be perfectly fine. Um, we've taken a trade on both, and both that both have lost so far. So we've taken two trades, two losers. Um, so yeah, not really much comparison there at the moment. Um, obviously as we trade it you'll be able to see um, the different kind of variants of that so how does everything work together right how does everything work together you'll be using the 78 EMA as a really really simple bias for your entries okay so if we're above the 78 EMA you're looking for longs and if we're below you're looking for shorts that's it that's all you're doing with the EMA right that's all you're doing with this you need three of these to be going in the same direction. doesn't matter what. It could be the five, the one, and the four. Those could be going in the same direction. That is fine. Okay, you just need three to be going in the same direction, up or down. Obviously, if we're below the EMA and all of these are going up, you don't have a trade. If you're above the EMA and all of these are down, you don't have a trade as well. So these two things need to be the same. And they need to be going in the same direction, okay? Um, so once you've once you've got those two things, you're then looking for the break, the retest, and the entry candle. The entry candle needs to be bigger than two pips, okay? It needs to be bigger than two pips. If it's not bigger than two pips, you can't take the trade. 
Um, the reason for this is because the stop loss will be way too small and you, you'll just get tagged out super, super fast. Um, so with a candle size of two pips, that means that your stop loss has to be a minimum of four pips. Um, now obviously you can go higher than this if you want to, but with our testing, four pips has been kind of a good uh, starting range for that. So in terms of the overall basics, you've kind of got the foundations now. Um, some of the um, some of the big things that do make it, or the small things I guess, that make a difference um, are, uh, well, especially the entry candle, okay, especially the entry candle. You need really for the maximum um, kind of percentage wins, you need your candle, your entry candle, to be no bigger than five pips, okay? If it's bigger than five pips, the win rate drops. And if it's smaller than four or two pips, the, the win rate drops as well. So between two and five pips is a really, really good place. Now you can take trades that are bigger than five pips, but obviously the, the win rate does go down. It doesn't go down enough that it's not worth taking the trades, but it's just something to keep in mind if you want to be taking the, the kind of super, super high win rate um, trades. Something else that does affect the win rate is timing. So if you're trading this in London, you're gonna have around a 40 to a 45% win rate. And if you're trading this in New York, you could be looking at between a 45 and a 50% win rate. So that's something else to keep in mind. Obviously not everyone can trade New York only. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind when you're trading. Um, obviously if you're trading this where you might not be able to trade New York, you might want to tweak the strategy a little bit. I'm not sure. You can do your testing on that, obviously. Something else that really, really does affect it is um, if we look at this example here, and I'll just put a line on here. Once we break this high, the next candle after this, if it doesn't touch that green line, that increases the win rate, okay? Um, so... I call this a gap. So we want to see a little bit of a gap in here before we get the retest, okay? Now, if this was to come down and touch this, there wouldn't be any gap, okay? You need a little bit of a gap in here or um, kind of white space, I guess, um, to give you a good move higher and then a nice retest. This does make a difference. Um, yeah, so that is also something that you should be looking out for uh, when trading this strategy. Also, with the EMA, as you can see on this one, we're basically going sideways. Obviously, we don't, we can't see that when we're trading it um, because all we're seeing is this, okay? And then we take the trade. This could have easily gone like this and it would have looked like a trending market. So if the EMA is flat, okay, that is obviously going to affect trade now it's very very easy to look back and say don't take a trade there because the ema is flat um when you're looking at the at the markets you need to think about the future right you need to think about the future so if this went like this for example would you say that this little period in here is a flat market some of you would some of you wouldn't um you know it's just one of those things. When you are trading it, you'll be able to decide, you know, is it too flat to take a trade? Or am I only gonna be looking for markets like this? Right, that's something that you're gonna to have to decide on. Um, but it does affect the win rate. So, you know, that is a small difference that you're gonna to have to think about. So in terms of entry, scaling out, break even, all that kind of stuff, um, we enter, well, currently, we enter with a 0.2% risk per trade. Um, and we scale out at 1.5. So we take 33% off at 1.5 risk reward. And then we also move to break even. Move to break even. That is a weird break even, but you know what I mean. At 2 risk reward. Okay. So this is some trade management to help you guys on with one, 
um, scaling scaling out of the position to get profits, and two, to help with your psychology, because when we weren't so in version one and two, you, there's no scaling out, there's no moving to break even, and we found that it would get to two to one a lot of the times and reverse. Um, whereas with this one, if we get to two to one, we've secured thirty three percent of the position, and we've moved to break even. Um, which is a great, great, great thing for psychology. So, obviously you don't have to do that as well, but that is something that we're doing in version 3 as well. So it's moving this thing into being a more complex strategy than version 1 and 2. Um, so if you are looking for something more complex, then version 3 is probably going to be a better option for you. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, if I've missed anything, go into the comments, let me know, and I can I can answer any questions. Um, if you want to go on to version 2 and watch that video again, then you can do, um, because I do, you know, I'm, I'm expecting that you know a little bit about it, obviously you might not know a lot, but um, yeah, go back on to version 2, you can watch that, um, but yeah, if you have any questions let me know, it's a very very simple strategy, a lot of traders overcomplicate this, keep it simple, okay, keep it simple, there's no, um, you know, if... If this happens, then don't do this. If this happens, then do this. Keep it super, super simple. Trade it your way, right? Change the strategy a little bit. Make it your own. And um, yeah, best of luck in your trading. Stay disciplined. Um, and I hope to see you in the, in the live streams in the future. So hit the like button if you've enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next one.